What is a statement? A statement is something that gives us information. For example, Jerry is smarter than Tom. Now, this is considered to be a statement in the English language. But can we say that this is a mathematical statement? No, let's understand why. That is because for some people, Jerry may be smarter than Tom. But for others, that may not be the case. So, this is an ambiguous statement. It's neither true nor false. Such statements are not acceptable in mathematics. Hence, this is not a mathematical statement. So, what is a mathematical statement? A statement is called a mathematically acceptable statement if it's either true or false, but not both. Now, consider this example. Tom is taller than Jerry. Can you tell me whether this is a mathematical statement or not? Yes, this is a mathematical statement. Why do I say so? As the heights of Tom and Jerry can be measured, we can always verify the statement. It will either be true or false. So, this is a mathematical statement. Now, let's look at a few more statements. Here's the first one. What a beautiful day. Is this a mathematical statement? It's not. Because an exclamation can never be a mathematical statement. So, the statements like wow and the food was amazing are also not mathematical statements. Here's another one. Sit straight. Mathematical statement or not? Notice that this is an order. And an order can never be a mathematical statement. So, statements like open the door and raise your hand are also not mathematical statements. Okay, next. All squares are rectangles. What do you think? Yes, it's a mathematical statement because we can definitely say that it's true. Next, what is your name? This is a question and a question can never be a mathematical statement. What about these two statements? Here, she could mean any girl and here could be any place. She and here are pronouns and statements involving pronouns cannot be considered as mathematical statements. Are you ready to try out a few more examples? Okay, here we go. Consider this statement. The sides of all the quadrilaterals are equal. Is this a mathematical statement? Yes, it is. Because we definitely know that it's a false statement. Remember, it could either be true or false. It doesn't only have to be true. Okay, now for the final two examples. Here they are. Is this one a mathematical statement? We should know that statements involving variable time, such as today, tomorrow or yesterday, are not considered to be mathematical statements. Why? This example, for instance, will be true only on Wednesday and not on any other day. So, it may be true or false. What about the second one? Correct. It's not a statement. That's because geometry may be interesting for some, but not for others. It means that this statement is true for some and false for the others. Hence, this does not qualify as a mathematical statement. Let me leave you with an interesting quiz. Can you tell me whether the two statements given below are mathematical statements or not? 1. Sum of two integers is positive. 2. Sum of two integers can never be negative. Tell us your answers below. Also, how are mathematical statements represented? And what is the negation of a statement? Let's see that in the next part.